Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Antonio, si sabes bailar cumbia? Yeah, just a little bit. How about you? Eh, yo no sabo. Okay, then no sabo, kid. <laughs> now, time for the pledge. Please stand. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, here's your daily reminder. <laughs> Please order your cap and gown. The due date is March 12th. While you make your order, you guys can go ahead and check out the senior gear. Some scholarships are due. See guidance for questions, comments, or concerns, or just casual talk. 21st century scholars, do not forget to fully complete your scholar chart. Time is running out, and you definitely do not want to lose this scholarship. Let's now send it to weather and sports with Elijah and Emily. Good morning, hot dogs. It is very cold right now with a temperature at 16 degrees. Today's weather forecast is a high of 30 degrees and mostly sunny. Tonight, temperatures will drop to 15 degrees. Looking ahead, expect a great amount of snowfall starting Saturday afternoon through Monday afternoon. That's all for weather. Now to Elijah with sports. Hot dog students, as of this week, Clinton County returned to orange status. This allows us to open up athletic to student attendance. Keep in mind, masks are still required to be worn at the games and to practice social distancing. Tickets are on sale on the GoFan site for tonight and will be on sale tomorrow for the boys game on Friday. Just go to GoFan.co site, type in hot dogs to purchase. If you don't see the game, hit refresh on your phone, tablet, or computer. Thanks hot dogs for your patience and keep masking up. Now that the county has gone back to orange, Football weights will start up again. It'll be from Monday to Friday from 3 to 4. Boys golfers should make contact with Coach Caesar on Thursday, January 28th, which is today. He is gathering names of potential team members. The C team boys basketball team played Danville on Tuesday night. The team played well for three quarters, but the one bad quarter was enough for a loss for a 47 to 42 loss. Jane Skinner led the hot dogs on both ends of the floor. He finished with 15 points and several steals and deflections. Kane Jarman played great defense inside and led the team in rebounds. Edwin Wayne Scott played very hard on defense and did a great job crashing the offensive boards. That's it for sports. Now back to your wow. host. Thanks, guys. Experience a day in college at Purdue Polytech Institute in Kokomo. This will be on Friday, February 12th. This is what to expect. Spend 45 minutes with each of Purdue Kokomo faculty members in the classroom setting. You will learn about what to expect within each Purdue program by participating in hands-on activities. A campus tour and admissions information session will be available. Lunch will be provided. And if you want to sign up, the deadline to do so is February 5th via email. Happy birthday to Jasper Felipe, Denise Mendoza, and Ana e. Morales. There will be no lunch today. This means the teachers will not get their mandatory statewide break. Sue me if you want. This year, Clarion County, usually GLDP, would like to thank its sponsors. That is all for the announcements. Make sure to stay safe and stay motivated. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Have a terrific Thursday. <laughs>